Hi, my name is Ridgely Fuller and I live in Belfast, Maine most of the time and some of the time in Vienna, Maine. So my soul is in Maine and I am very concerned about what this secretly negotiated trans-specific uh, trade, trade partnership pact will do to Maine as well as the rest of the country and the world. Um, as we know, it's being negotiated with incredible secrecy and um, even officials, trade officials, um, I think it was the former uh, trade uh, negotiator for the United States, uh, Kirk, said that the reason it, was, it had so much secrecy is because if America knew what was in it, it would never become law, um, that it's that bad. And in fact, what it does is it eliminates any safeguards that we might have for our environment, um, for our natural resources, for any kind of health care, labor rights, internet, you name it, it will affect us. Um, because of the secrecy of it, I don't think there's too much that the public really know, knows about it. Uh, will allow corporations to really come down and dictate to our, on a very local levels of government, including city councils, and planning boards, and that sort of thing. And I, um, the Citizen Trade Policy Group has done a good job about looking at what it will do for Maine in particular. They're very concerned about uh, procurement. Formally, Maine has really done a good job trying to protect its right to buy Maine, buy local. This would totally jeopardize that ability, so that means I'm going to go talk to my Belfast City Council tonight and tell them that eventually what it might mean is that they can't mandate that our school department will buy food and uh, vegetables and fruits from our local farmers. Um, this would be a travesty for our ongoing and our up and coming organic farming and our, you know, try, our, try to make for local economies. So we need to protect that. Um, Maine is also especially concerned about prescription drug prices. Maine has done a lot to try and contain the prices by pool buying and um, this will be prohibited under the TPP. And um, finally, Maine is concerned about tobacco regulation because regulation for tobacco looks like will no longer be possible. So all the efforts that we've made to try and eradicate and reduce tobacco use, the number one killer, um, will be for naught. So those are just a few of those things I'm concerned about. Because I feel that NAFTA threatens our sovereignty. Uh, no, not NAFTA. TPP threatens our sovereignty in a number of ways. It's been not negotiated in secret, and we want to be sure that the Congress prevents it entirely, not in 24, 48 hours. <laughs> hey! We're, we're trying to. We're trying to get. We're trying to stop this from being a secret. We need jobs for people here in the United States, not jobs all over the world, uh, so that uh, we can buy their products and get poorer and poorer. The United States people need manufacturing jobs. The simpler the printing, the better and bigger. Watch the TPP. I've got the after. This TPP is ratified. We will never be able to amend it. It will be out of the control of our federal government. Just about the, the TTP, you know, and it, it seems that it's not really a, a trade agreement at all. It's, it's, it's a, a way in which to, uh, for the large corporations to get more power over state control. Uh, get more control over over the states to uh, you know, do whatever they want. But as we all know, you know, it's an effort for corporate profit, where um, we can take good jobs that are any good jobs that are left in this country and go to Vietnam, where they pay 30 cents an hour, um, where there are no labor rights, there are no union rights, and it really is a race to the bottom for the world and for the people of the world. But I think people are really ri rising up, and we have Congress now concerned about it, and um, you know, writing letters to to the government. And I think we have a real chance of stopping this. So everybody, climb aboard! <laughs>